Between the flags, parades, and cookouts, Americans are used to showing their patriotism on Memorial Day. But experts and advocates say this holiday, many of the nation's troops need more than a salute. They need food. Food insecurity has skyrocketed through the pandemic for many Americans, but it's been an issue long before COVID for many military families. Some advocates and lawmakers are hoping to change that. Here's ABC's Mary Alice Parks. For many active duty military families, food assistance programs like this one in Virginia Beach are a lifeline. Doreen O'Cam helps run a special group of YMCAs exclusively serving active duty military families. We ask them to fill out this short form. It's just, it's just collecting branch of military, the number of adults in the household, things like that, and if this is their first time. They operate food assistance programs at 12 sites around the country, four that opened this last year during the pandemic. A lot of people came to the pantry, got what they needed, and then maybe they came back one more other time, but then they were gone. Mm. COVID, we're seeing the same people week after week, month after month. Uh, prior to the pandemic in San Diego, for example, we were serving 400 families a month. Active, Active duty, duty military, military families, families. 400. Post pandemic, we had to shift to 400 a week. Wow. So even before this unbelievable last year, there was a need. A real need. What we hear from families is the issue is really childcare and spouse employment, and the two are absolutely inextricably intertwined. Blue Star families estimate that during the pandemic, 42% of military spouses who were working lost their jobs, pushing many families to the brink. But even before the economic downturn for military families, finding a second income was uniquely hard. I'm somebody who felt like I had done everything right. Erica Tubbins' husband was a nuclear mechanic on an aircraft carrier stationed in Washington state. I had been a high school teacher for a time. I couldn't take teaching with me when we moved up to Washington state because I wasn't certified to teach there. We also had no family in the area, so we were we didn't have any affordable childcare options. The Navy income wasn't enough. A lot of people don't realize is that when you are an enlisted service member, meaning sort of those those lower ranking positions, it's often not really enough. It was really embarrassing. People constantly, when they find out that you served or that your partner served, they like to thank you for your service. And it really felt shameful. It, it was like, I just didn't want anyone to know that that was our reality. I heard that your dad is quite a hero. Back in Virginia Beach, Laura Vini's husband is currently active duty Navy. She attends an early learners class with her two children, Leon and Eva, and other military families at the Armed Services Y. With his Navy income supporting a family of four, Laura says the food pantry has been a welcome safety net. It's, you know, at the end of the month, you know, when everyone gets that, that period sometimes, you know, a couple of weeks, a couple of days till payday, you know, they have everything in there. They have diapers, they have wipes, they have all the kind of things, especially when you have young kids and stuff, you know, because those things get expensive. Basic pay for new junior enlisted is about twenty one to twenty four thousand dollars a year, plus a possible housing allowance that can vary with dependents. In a survey this year from Blue Star families, twenty nine percent of junior enlisted families talked about food insecurity. An official with the Department of Defense told ABC News the Pentagon is working to track the problem, adding a question about food insecurity on a survey it will send to active duty spouses this summer. For many Americans, the Federal Assistance Program, or SNAP, is a lifeline. But it's not an easy option for most military families, according to experts like Abby Liebman. There was, back in the 1990s, a moment when it was clear that military families were beginning to apply for food stamps, um, what we now call SNAP. And there was a concern about the optics of this. So in their infinite wisdom, um, the military and Congress created a program that was designed to provide a, a supplemental um, subsistence allowance. And that was almost identical to the SNAP program, but only available to military. But that program expired in 2016 for those in the continental U.S. And military housing allowances count as income, pricing most military families out of receiving SNAP benefits. Asked if it looks bad to have military families on SNAP, Congressman Jim McGovern says having families hungry is worse and argues SNAP is a good program. 
been demonized in a way that people have resisted trying to expand it when it seems so obvious, especially when it comes to our military families. Liebman joined other experts at a congressional roundtable McGovern convened on the topic this week. When I was in, in the service, I was incredibly fortunate that I, that I was uh, single, no dependents. McGovern is pushing his colleagues to look for solutions and wants the White House to hold a conference on hunger. Hunger is a political condition. And what I mean by that is that we have the ability to fix it. We have the resources, we have the food, we have all that it takes. What we don't have is the political will. What's your message to families that are serving this country right now and, and the average American that wants to support the families that are serving and protecting this country? We have the ability to make it possible for families who serve to feel stable, respected, and supported by the people that they are protecting. And that to me would be a wonderful message to send out on Memorial Day. We see you and we have your back just the way you have ours. For ABC News, Mary Alice Parks in Washington. Such an important message this Memorial Day. Our thanks to Mary Alice. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.